Hey everyone, it's Lisa Bon Jean, and today I get to release Mini Monthly Mini number six, and this is Red, White, and Scrappy Mini Quilt. So yes, it is September, so we're still in the patriotic mode here. So if you are looking for fabrics for this, we do have this whole series running um, our Garden Gatherings Fat Quarter bundles, or, or you can purchase kits for these separately. We do have them on our website using these same fabrics, or you can use from your stash. All right, so first thing you need to do is on the 23rd of each month, you need to go and download our monthly mini. This one will release on September 23rd, and you should be ready to go then. Each one of the downloads is $5, and after the new one releases the month before, they go to $12. All right, so let's get started on this one. So this one, is kind of like a trip around the world, but using only four fabrics. On my sample, I'm only gonna use three fabrics, so I can just show you how versatile this is. So you could do this all scrappy, or you can do it in strip sets like we have done here. So here's your pattern, and I am going to open that up a little bit. And I have everything already sewn except for one strip set. So we're gonna start off with the strip set. So here is one of the strip sets mentioned in the pattern. So we're just gonna take those right sides together and I always line up all of my salvages. So I have all the salvages of the fat quarters right here on that side. So I'm gonna give them a nice little, push them together here and run them through. These fabrics have already been starched and ready to go. We like to starch our fabrics because the fabric shrinks before we cut it apart. So I'm gonna quick open up these strip units, give them a quick little finger press. I find more success with pressing open than to one side, especially with strip sets. Make sure I get them back in the right order. Blue on top, okay. I think when you press open too, you can tell if maybe you missed a seam a little short too. You can re it's really noticeable when you press seams open if you got a short seam. Try to keep them nice and straight. Don't try to put bows in them. And you notice that 
a lot of times when you do strip sets, you're not doing like the whole width of the fabric. You're doing like the fat quarter long part of it. All right, so now that I have this, now I'm gonna move off my pressing area a little bit and I'm gonna move this down here and I am going to cut. Okay. All right. So now what I would do is I'd have a bunch of my strip units here already laid out. And I don't stack them directly upon each other. I'll stagger them up. So it's not like one big lumpy pile. I will have like this one. And then like if I had the next one, I would stagger it like that. And then the next one, I would move one up. So I would do stuff like that to make that bulk spread out. All right, so then I'm gonna grab my rotary cutter, which is right here. And in your directions, it tells you what to cut your strips at. And I will just lay my ruler on and trim off those salvages. And then I'm gonna find the measurement and I'm gonna divide it by my whole ruler. So this measurement happens to work really well with my ruler here. This is a five by 15. So I'm gonna cut that one and then I'm gonna move it over to the next measurement. And I'm gonna keep doing that all the way down my strip set. And most of the time, like I said, I'm cutting multiple, multiple strip sets at the same time. So you see how that's gonna work like that? So I'm not gonna waste a bunch of time doing that right now, but I'll go back and have to finish those. So that is the hardest part. That's making the blocks right now. So then, now what's next is laying out your quilt. So what we do is you will look at your pattern and it has everything laid out and you would just start with your fabrics here and it's hard for me to see this because it's printed white on white so i think that's going like that and that's going like that and you're going to make two of these rows because we have one on each end so this is going to go together on the diagonal so this is where i'm starting right now all right so i have my center square and then my two rectangles and then there's one on top of there too that i can add i already have it there you go uh, so I'm just going to continue to go until I get to the center block. There's only one of them there. And you could pile up two of them as you wish here. All right, so then the next one is this. You're going to offset everything like that. And then you're going to just keep building it like so. So this is going to be so fun. All right, then the next one starts with a red like that. And then I think it goes like that. Let me see here. One, two, three, four red and three cream. One, two, three, four. So that goes somewhere like this. And it's not gonna match up until I get all those seams sewn. All right, so you get the idea on how this is gonna go together. And then you're going to sew these together into rows, the whole thing. And then you're gonna press, you can press open or you can press toward the dark, whatever you like. But then when we sew the rows together, you're gonna press those seams open for best results in getting this quilt flat. So basically that's all this quilt is, is just getting used to stitching strip sets and dis distributing the bulk of the seams. All right, so I can't wait to see your finished quilts. Thank you so much for joining me here for our September monthly mini.